the intention of, of this presentation is to analyze and, and try to share with you all a better understanding of, of the technical and regulatory context in the, United, uh, in the European Union. Uh, what kind of initiatives would be real a key point in terms of contribution for a more efficient implementation of, of all these sustainability targets and, and objectives? And the last point also is to challenge a bit in what is, is really needed to trigger and consolidate this kind of sustainable solutions within the market. So how to make a real impact and quite noticeable impact in the introduction, in the mindset, in the, in the market of this sustainable approach. Okay, very short introduction. EFCA here I tried to summarize the member of this European organization it's quite well represented for all those manufacturers and with a very, very wide profile here in Spain particularly, the companies that are taking part of this organization. I tried to summarize here briefly. And let me introduce briefly the context or what we consider that is the context. These are the main activities that uh, we as admixed, concrete admixed manufacturers try to tackle in every single day. It's all the initiatives related to the Z marking, like uh, the um, reach activities, also all kind of labeling activities, all kind of related activities with uh, drinkable water approval, dangerous goods, or all the context, okay? This is nothing new under the sun. It's what is needed to be done to release a product within the European context, okay? A part of this, we are in charge of all the technical committees and characterization to update and reevaluate and, and review all the rules or norm norms that we, we use for the daily business. The daily business. We are in close contact with all these kind of organization and platforms close to ready mix, concrete market or um, construction, generally speaking. That as I said before, is not enough, it's, it's part of, of our daily business, is to set the basis to introduce products in a reliable way into the market, okay? Part of, a part of this, lately we have been developing all this environmental product declaration from a mix and manufacturer's point of view, so we address the most representative categories of a mix at a European level, but uh, is that enough? We, we do believe that it's not enough. Actually, if you look at in detail, typically this kind of assessment only covers, uh, in, a, in a life cycle analysis, only covers the cradle to gate. We know how to produce, we can define more or less with a really reliable way what is the footprint of what we manufacture. But we don't know how or what kind of information or potential impact are we missing? Because we don't get into the, the service part. And our intention is to challenge again and, and try to address this in a more comprehensive way. Until now, we can address all those initiatives, these first three, as you, as you can see, that is covering the raw material supply, transport and manufacturing itself. But what about the service life what about the disposal? What about any kind of application point of view? How can, how can we get benefit of these points? As you can imagine, uh, there are many options to really go a bit further in terms of um, life cycle assessment and measuring the impacts or potential impacts. Here I tried to summarize some of them. Maybe a few of you really agree on them. Others maybe can be, um, disagree, who knows, that's a point. But at the end of the day, what we are looking for is to, to really remark that we have a significant uh, pending point to cover. More than 80% of the life cycle is still pending to be addressed. We need to generate this information. So if we go further, what seems to be needed, at least we need to have a more reliable and traceable data of execution, we need to be sure. What kind of material do we place in the job site? How do they last? 
and make a much more reliable information of all what we are um, building every single day. Secondly, we need to, to go further in terms of uh, standardization in topics related to durability. We need to be more ambitious. Uh, initiatives like modeling or initiatives like um, accelerated uh, tests and all this stuff is a must. Uh, if we need, if we want to deliver a reliable solution, we need to make tangible, noticeable, and um, really trustful. Okay. A third point is what about the, the legal context? In some cases, we stick to the legal requirements. That is, in a proper manner, is is really really good, to be honest, but as in some cases, it doesn't mean that it's sufficient for specific applications. And in terms of warranty policies and so on, we are missing significant information because, of course, we are covering the minimum, the basis, but when, when a, a owner or some properties is asking for really demanding situation, what kind of support procedures and so on we can use to go further in this direction, not many. And the last one, and this is part of, of, of these uh, activities, is to bring together or to really design this working group of people that try to, from many different perspectives, integrate and harmonize the state of the art. It's very, very complex if we don't bring together all the different actors and main, uh, how do you say, most representative companies, uh, research uh, centers or universities, they need to work together. They need to really collaborate in, the, in all the supply chain to generate the knowledge, to create the technologies, to bring this technology to, to the real industrialization process and later on to use this. And as I said before, this is what we need to bear in mind and work actively from our point of view in these single topics. And this is something that we can discuss nowadays or we can discuss later on during the break or even do the, during the, the, um, the networking event. But it's impor important also to be in mind. Uh, could it be tackled as a one single point? Do you consider that the local regulation will be a more protective approach and, and they will not share any kind of common point of view in this topic. We don't know because it's a pity if we develop something quite suitable for uh, Spanish market but it doesn't fit well in other countries. The effort is, is really a, a pity that we cannot enlarge the footprint of this background that we are able to generate. Secondly, how we measure, how we really get the funding, sufficient funding to go further in, in these long-term perspective initiatives. That is now, um, I do believe that age 2020 is a good example of this kind of implementation, but we need to maintain, preserve, and enlarge the footprint of these kind of initiatives. And the last point is KPIs. Um, we need to demonstrate, we need to make it noticeable. We need to really generate uh, some uh, indicators able to track, able to measure how we improve, how we are able to, to bring the sustainability concepts and principles in our daily business in a profitable way. And it is all from, from our perspective, okay?